Hey everybody, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in, and for those of you who haven't visited the channel, welcome to x Rides Cars. Today, let's go ahead and take a look at this 2016 Mercedes-Benz E250 CDI. So this will be a full take on the E250. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects in both the interior as well as the exterior. And so, without further ado, Let's go ahead and get started. It's a full black exterior featuring a full beige leatherette upholstery with metal trim as well as satin eucalyptus wood trim. The E250 comes with speed proportional, electromechanical rack and pinion power steering on a three-spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with multifunction controls on the top spokes and silver trim on the bottom. All E250s on this year came with a 7-speed 7G Tronic automatic gearbox which you pull down for drive, partially for neutral, up for reverse, and press the button for park. You also manual and sequential manual shifting via the paddles on the steering wheel. And so we'll go ahead and flip on the automatic headlights, fog lights, as well as the hazards. All four windows are fully automatic. So we'll go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? The original vehicle of this class was the 170 and it was produced from 1933 to 1936 with about 17,000 units produced, all of which were made in Stuttgart in Germany. After that came the W136, which over 150,000 units were made, which equaled to about 70,000 prior to World War II and 80,000 after those times. 1953 came the Mercedes-Benz W120, which technically started as the E-Class series. And in 1956, the W121 came. Often referred to as pontons, the pair were the mainstay of Mercedes' lineup during their production runs. Together with the more luxurious and somewhat larger 2.2 liter inline 6, Mercedes Benz W128, they constituted 80% of Mercedes Benz population between 1953 and 59. Next came the W110, replacing the W120 as the first series came in 1961, and in 1965 came the second series. In 1968, replacing the W110 came the W114, which was in production for eight years and nearly two million of those have been built. There was also related W116 for the time. The W123 after that had sold more than 2.6 million cars. Next came the W124, 
which is when E-Class got its name. In 1984, the vehicle started production, and in 1993, the name became E-Class. It was produced as the E-Class until 1995, when the W210 came out. The W210 was produced from 1995 to 2003, and also was the very first AMG E-Class, and it was the E36 AMG, which only 49 units were made. Next after this came the W211 E-Class. That continued to be successful, which again was done quite well. Next came this model seen here, the W212. After being unveiled at the 2009 Detroit North American International Auto Show, to invited press members of the press and put it on public display at the 2009 Geneva Motor Show, it was introduced in March 2009 for Europe and July for North America in the sedan body style. In 2010, a wagon body style became available to all markets. Through the wagon body style was available in Europe since August 2009, global cumulative E-Class sales reached the milestone 550,000 vehicle mark in July 2011. Production achieved the milestone 500,000 sedan unit mark until 2012. In March 2012. The E-Class image suffered a downturn in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Things started to improve, but wasn't until the introduction of the W212 series that things really picked up. The W212 series took the E-Class's original reputation for solid build quality and refined elegance and established it once again. It also praised for having a differentiated design from the contemporary C-Class and S-Class models. Although the mid-cycle refresh was overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly praised, the design received the mixed opinions and Mercedes decided to take a more streamlined direction with the redesign, replacing the twin headlamp design with the single lens design, which brought the E-Class design up to date with the contemporary Mercedes-Benz design language. The E-Class features several new safety technologies including driver drowsiness detection, lane departure warning, and traffic sign recognition. It also includes features that improve performance, efficiency, and comfort such as direct control, adaptive suspension, active seats, and movable radiator louvers which improve the vehicle's aerodynamics. Standard Mercedes-Benz safety and convenience features such as the ESP, airbags, and automatic climate control are included as well. The estate version code S212 was unveiled at the 2009 Frankfurt IAA Motor Show and was released for sale in Europe in August. US models began sale in 2010 for the 2011 model year. In December 2012, Mercedes revealed the fourth generation E-Class facelift, which included modest style and equipment changes. Unveiled at the 2013 Detroit Auto Show, this was made available for sale in early mid 2013 as the 2014 model year. Compared to typically supple Mercedes Benz minor model updates, the changes to the W12 were relatively extensive. According to Mercedes Benz, the midcycle facelift is the most significant model revision it had ever undertaken. Mercedes Benz is reported to have pumped close to 1 billion euros into the department of the midcycle refresh of this platform with the amount of new features on the face of the model that is about the same what's expected of an entirely new model. The mid-cycle face of brings significant styling changes, improved engine, more standard equipment, and several extra high-tech features. The front was completely restyled, giving it a more aggressive look compared to the pre-facelift model. The twin headlamp design was replaced with a singular front light, with LED DRLs as standard. White full LED technology was available as an option for the first time for the E-Class. One thing new was the option of a front grille with the Mercedes-Benz star on it, an option previously unavailable with the E-Class and only used on similar models like the C-Class. The front bumper was made more sharp with bigger air intakes, much like the newer C-Class. In the rear, the car was given rear LED taillights, while sport models features dual exposed exhaust tips. The doors and front fenders were reshaped, eliminating the wheel arch bulge and replacing it with a more traditional character line in the sheet metal. The lower side crease line extends from the rear door all the way to the front fender, hence all the side panels except for the rear quarter panel has also been restyled. 
The car's interior cabin had been minimally restyled, with new air conditioning vents and a new analog clock in the center console between the central air vents, like the CLS. There was also a redesigned center console without a selector lever, as well as a new multifunction steering wheel with direct select lever and shift paddles in conjunction with the transmission. If the driver had shifted up or down manually after a set period of time, the transmission independently switches back to automatic mode which saves fuel. The W212 facelift can be ordered with two design variants, Sport or Luxury, which features a different exterior and interior design for each line. The Luxury comes with a classic sedan grille with integrated star to of course pay tribute to the high performance models. The E63 was unveiled at the 2009 New York Auto Show and has AMG 6.2 liter V8 and the 7 speed automatic transmission. Except in 2012, it had been updated given a 5.5 liter twin turbo V8 engine. As far as the exterior features, you have full LED headlights, large Mercedes medallion on the, on the grill, part of the sport package, aggressive front bumper, AMG style sport wheels, chrome trim across the sides, rear parking sensors, The E250 comes with the 17-inch, 5-twin-spoke sport alloy wheels running on 245-45 R17 tires with front and rear disc brakes with anti-locking, EBD, and brake assist. This E250 comes with a sport tune McPherson strut front suspension and a sport tune multi-link rear suspension with front rear stabilizer bars coil springs, and gas pressurized shock absorbers. This vehicle has a length of 192.1 inches with a width of 73 inches and a height of 57.9 inches on 113.1 inch wheelbase. Total curb weight can be about 4167 pounds. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. Mm. The CDI comes standard with a 2.1 liter, 16 valve, double overhead cam, twin turbocharged, clean diesel, four cylinder engine. It produces 195 horsepower at 3800 RPM and 369 pound feet of torque at 1600 RPM. 0 to 100 kilometers hour or to 62 miles an hour can be rated at 7.8 seconds with an electronically limited top speed of 130 miles an hour. The car's rear wheel drive with a 21.1 gallon tank requiring diesel fuel. Miles per gallon ratings remain at 28 city and 42 highway. Open up the interior of the E250. It's pretty nice. Of course, you got your wooden aluminum trim, aluminum door handles, aluminum seat controls, aluminum trim underneath, power windows, locks and mirrors, three person memory for both the driver and passenger seat. So we'll go ahead and shut her up. Nice solid panels. Now this vehicle comes with the Mercedes basic command system without navigation and just the standard sound system as well. Now you can get optional Harman Kardon tweeters in this model, same with Bang & Olufsen. The sound system does sound pretty good though especially for a standard system. You've got side curtain airbags, illuminated vanity mirrors with your card holder, and of course there's airbags in the seats. Now, this vehicle in particular has a panoramic roof, which is really cool. So, up here you have a little sunshade, and when you pull open this toggle, the sunshade automatically opens and relieves in from both sides. And when you pull that other switch, the front portion of the panoramic roof, 
panoramic roof automatically moves through. Now the rear portions only use for ventilation. This is an exclusive thing for all facelifted E-classes, so pre-facelift models do not get this. They just can get a standard sunroof. It's also fully automatic, which is really cool. So that closes in, and you of course just simply pull your sunshade in. Along with that you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with reading lights underneath. And of course, as far as the slide button right here, you control your two lights right here. As far as the command system, you of course have your audio settings, including telephone and system. And of course, you can set your clock and your efficiency in that part, and of course, your telephone. For Bluetooth hands-free telephone, you have, of course, air vents and your new clock here, versus the previous clock, which is on there for the pre of cars. And of course, all your controls for command are here as well. Hazard switch, eco mode, your rear sunshade button right here, which there is a rear sunshade which works electronically, and it's just one touch automatic. Overall, that's pretty unique. You've also got your dual zone climate control course is automatic and of course you have fan speed you have recycling front defrost rear defrost and of course temperature control which I think is somewhere in the 60s for Fahrenheit because we're in India right now so of course it's Celsius as of right now you've got you open this portion right here you got two full cup holders and open it even further you have an ashtray and lighter which actually it's flipped around on left hand drive cars so of course your lighters right here and then your trays right here on left hand drive cars it's complete opposite on a right hand drive vehicle as this of course is a right hand drive vehicle you've got command controls you've got eco sport mode and of course all your and of course your wheel controls for command center console of course lots of space and of course you have other things like USB ports or media register and things like that. As far as steering wheel, you of course have your controls for what shows up right here. Of course your odometer or speed from reset for trip computer, from start trip computer, eco, range. And of course you have volume and telephone controls right here. And of course you have a back button on that. And of course you could, I think you could also use this to control your command system. And of course, you have voice command right here. Which I think is only for phone. Also, over here, you have, of course, you have your headlight controls, your smart key system. And the parking brake controls right here, too. Because, of course, you have your brake which you push down here. And, of course, your parking brake, you pull the handle to release it. Pull to release push down on the pedal to activate. Color in a nutshell, it's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and shut her down. There. So we'll go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? As far as the back seat, it's pretty unique. We've got sun shades. Of course, you got storage pockets. You have a place, which is a 12 volt power outlet. And you've got rear climate control as well. Like you would expect, the E250 does have an incredible amount of cargo space for its class. You do get about 15.9 cubic feet or 450 liters, 
but of course if you fold the rear seat, you can expand the storage. You also have other things off to the side, including your spare tire and your jack, and other things as well. Passenger seat does feature the same power adjustments and seat memory as the driver's side. Full glove box. The E Class is a pretty well known vehicle. It's one of the first Mercedes Benz to ever come out in history, and it's been a well known vehicle for its time. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video of this 2016 Mercedes Benz E250 CDI. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where all this came from, and be sure to subscribe today and check out all the future content coming to X Rides Cars. Take care, everybody.